The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show, well, we're learning more about the components that make up the GAF roofing system and how they're professionally installed. We'll begin by meeting with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction. And we'll start with ice and water shield and learn where it's applied on a roof. Next, we'll look at the role of the underlayment and see how it should be installed to meet the manufacturer's specifications. And we'll finish up with valley installations proper sealing around vent stacks, along with shingle patterns and fastening. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started right after this message. Thanks for watching another Lindis Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Lindis Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979. Remodeling Homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindis Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home, or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it, help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindusconstruction.com. One of the most important components in the GAF roof system is their ice and water shield. It's often the last line of defense to prevent your roof from leaking, and installing it to code and in all the prone areas is critical to ensure a long-lasting roof. So let's get started with our remodeling contractor, Andy Lindis, to learn where ice and water shield is applied on a roof. Wow, Andy, what a beautiful fall day. I just love the bright blue sky. The guys are hard at work. Looks like they're about halfway done with the tear off on this re-roofing project. Yeah, we're gonna get to the dry end process pretty shortly here, and hopefully by the end of the day, we've got a brand new roof on. Well, I'm really excited about today's show because we've done so many re-roofing shows, mm -hmm. and we always talk about how important it is to have premium components. But if you have premium components, you have to have them installed correctly. Otherwise, you're not going to be happy with the end result. And that's what you wanted to cover today is the professional installation of all these GAF products. You know, we're in a storm year here in the Twin Cities, which has been interesting to say the least. So you get to see a lot of how other contractors do roofing. And you talk to other crews. And you come to find out that 
we are one of the only ones that do things a certain way, which is the way GAF has asked us to do them. Today at this job, we have a crew that's installing the woodland shingle for the first time. Anytime we do that, we get GAF to come out and go through a training day. Not only talk about all the underlayments and things that we do, but go through the proper pattern on the shingles and check these guys work. This is one of the biggest reasons why we partner with GAF. The support we get from them to train our people on the proper way to do not only just the regular timberline shingles, but all of the designer shingles shingles that they offer is very important. And that to me speaks volumes to how conscientious Lindus Construction is as a contractor and an installer. But that provides ultimate peace of mind to the homeowner. And in this case, they're going to end up with a roofing product that they're never going to have to worry about. Yeah, and we have two different crews that are going to be working here throughout the day, all of them learning the shingle. And what we do when we do these type of training days, we do this at friends and family's house. This house happens to be our sales manager, Rick's house. So he knows that we have new crews coming in. Guys are gonna learn this particular shingle for the very first time. We're really excited about it because now we have an opportunity to get another crew up to where we need them to be. So let's take it from a situation where the roof has been completely torn off and you're down to the decking. Take us through the professional installation process. Once everything's all tore off and we make sure there's no rotten wood, we're gonna start with the edge of the roof. And what I mean by that, we're gonna install all of our ice and water shield along the eaves of the roof. The eave being the lower edge. And what is the role of ice and water shield? This is it right here, right? Yeah, any type of rain or water or ice that could potentially get underneath the shingles, this is gonna be adhered to the actual roof deck. So any nails that go through, they're gonna be self-adhered there. Basically makes it impossible for one of the spots of the roof that it leaks more often than not, valleys, eaves, rakes, hips, where the roofing meets the sidewall. Those are all areas that could potentially leak and that's where we're gonna use our ice and water shield. As you can see here, it's pretty tacky now, but once the sun hits it and warms up, it'll be virtually impossible to remove it from the decking. So in the case of a re-roofing project and there's existing ice and water shield, yeah. do you ever go over top of it? Yeah, every time. Unless there's so many shingles that are stuck to that and you can't pull it up, then at that point, we'll be taking down that whole four foot wide path of decking to start over. And so how much do you put on? I mean, in some roofs I see that there's just one row of this and other ones I see two rows and heck on a low slope roof, sometimes I've seen them do the whole entire roof. It all really depends on the type of overhang that you have. Now on this particular roof, we're gonna be able to get by with two rows. That's gonna get us about three feet past the interior wall, which is what we wanna get every single time. I had one last week. It was five rows of ice and water shield before I was three feet past the interior wall. They had a very large overhang and it was a heated garage, so it was really important. Also, there was a sidewall area there too, so one of those areas that you knew had a lot of potential leak. Well, that speaks volumes to me of a experienced professional contractor there. A lot of contractors I've seen come in and regardless of what it is, oh, we'll put one row on. Sure, that's all we're gonna put on. One of the things that you're gonna get from us is a scope of work. In that scope of work, it's going to spell out exactly where we're putting the ice and water shield, exactly what type of venting we're using, exactly where we're going to put new roof edge, the type of underlayment we're gonna use and how we're gonna use it. So everything that we're going to do should be spelled out up front. If you're not talking to your roofer about this, if all you're talking about is the type of shingles that get put on, you're leaving yourself open to something bad happening. Sure, so as a homeowner, again, that's a reason why you wanna have good communication with your contractor, make sure you're getting an exact estimate there that outlines every piece of material that's going to make up your new roof. Yeah, the scope of work and talking to your contractor about all of the details like the vent stacks, the drip edge, ice and water like you said, a lot of times getting reused, valley tins even getting reused. A lot of this stuff is getting reused. If you don't have this spelled out, they're going to do the bare minimum. One of the things that you should know is the manufacturer specs on how this gets installed is usually stronger than any code has. So getting it done to code isn't good enough. You want it done to the manufacturer specifications. And if you don't know what those are, you need to ask. Stay tuned. We'll continue with our roofing project next, here on today's Home Remodeler. Thanks for watching another Lindus Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Lindus Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979, remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. 
whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it. We offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindus Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home, or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it, help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindusconstruction.com. Another key layer of protection between your shingles and roof deck is the underlayment. So let's catch back up with our roofing contractor, Andy Lindis, and take a closer look at GAF's premium underlayment called Tiger Paw. Now, Andy, once the ice and water shield has been installed, what's the next component in the re-roofing system? We're going to install the GAF Tiger Paw underlayment over the entire roof, including where we just installed the ice and water shield. Really? So you go over top of it? Over the top. A couple of things that we like to do here. The majority of the roofing jobs that we install, we're also going to be installing our leaf guard gutters with it. So having that Tiger Paw and that ice and water shield, a nice area to be able to slip our leaf guard flashing in between is nice. The other part is, the best analogy I've heard about what to think about the underlayment of the roof is, if you were to take water at the top of the roof and dump it, there should be some type of drainage plane. It should never be able to get to any type of bare wood. I mean, look at Whoa. how the water just beads off of that. It just rolls right off. So really, when I look at what you're trying to do here is put a raincoat on the roof. Exactly. So if any water does get underneath the shingles, it's never going to get back to bare wood. If it just gets on the tiger paw, it can do no harm. So that covers the roll of the underlayment product, but how is it fastened to the roof decking? We actually use cap nails, and the way my guys like to use it is a magnetic hammer. They think it's actually faster than using a hammer tacker anyway. Wow, I can't believe that. You know, I've always seen guys just running through on, usually it's on the felt underlayment, the old black stuff that's up there, and they just tack it down. Why is it advantageous to use cap nails? You ever notice like every time you hit that felt with a hammer tacker? <laughs> it, it tears. Like, it tears, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So the part that is your protectant, should the shingles fail, or should water get underneath the shingles, or you have an ice dam occur, that gets water underneath there, the part that is supposed to be protecting your roof decking from getting any type of moisture to it has a hole in it or a tear in it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, so we cap nail our tiger paw over the entire roof. Do your installers find that to be advantageous as well? I mean, to me, nailing, it sounds like it might be less efficient than a tacker. I've had a couple of crews that always use cap nails, even before we required them too, because they think it's faster than the hammer tacker. You don't have to worry about staples, it's a magnetic hammer. When you get a good rhythm going, you have some practice at this, it's actually fun to watch. The guys are really good at it. Well, again, good peace of mind for the homeowner having a professional, experienced crew installing all of these products. I do have a question though. This roof doesn't have any rakes, but it has a lot of hips on it. When you get to the hip, Mm -hmm. That's that part going from the eave running up to the peak. Yeah. What happens there? How do you keep water from getting driven in up underneath there? So what we're going to do is we're going to run our tiger paw three inches over on the one hip, three inches over onto the other hip, giving us a six inch overlap. Once we have a six inch overlap and those are fastened with cap nails, we're going to take our ice and water shield again and run 12 inches down the entire hip, sealing the tiger paw to each other. Should there be any type of wind-driven rain that gets underneath the shingle or gets underneath the cap, it's gonna have to get through ice and water shield and basically two layers of tiger paw in that area protecting it. Again, not absolutely code, it's not required, but it's the way GAF prefers it done. In my opinion, that's never gonna allow any water, and especially if it's attached to the tiger paw. I mean, that is the ultimate rain guard for a home. So if you're a homeowner out there, ask your contractor, are you gonna create this system for my home? When you do as many roofs as we have, you start to realize that 
certain areas have a tendency to have rotten wood where vent pipes go. Ice and water shield now is, goes on there to protect that. Up the rakes, in the hips, anywhere that has a potential leak, sidewalls, again, those are all areas that we see that we have to take time and replace rotten wood. So now when we do roofs, we do everything in our power to make sure no water gets to bare wood and causes rot again. I'm not thinking eight years down the road, nine years down the road, 10 years down the road. It's a 50 year warranty we're putting on this. And something that we do that no one else does, it's 50 years on the workmanship too. 25 years is what you normally get on the highest warranty from JF. With us, it's 50 years. Stick around. We'll continue with today's home remodeler after this message. Thanks for watching another Linda's Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Linda's Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979, remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindus Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindasconstruction.com. So far in today's show, we've been covering the underlayment products that make up a roofing system before the shingles are installed. It's also training day for the roofing crews at Lindus Construction from the pros at GAF. Installation techniques, shingle patterns, and using the GAF field guide were just a few of the topics covered. Now let's once again meet up with our contractor, Andy Lindis, and learn more about the professional installation of a few more roofing components. Most roofs have valleys. I'm curious, how do you handle those? Well, we're actually going to use three courses of ice and water shield and a valley tin and valleys, and we only use open cut valleys for a couple of different reasons. Three courses of ice and water shield? Three, how do you lay those down? Three courses of ice and water shield. What we're going to do is a full course all the way down the dead center of the actual valley. So you got three feet wide of ice and water shield. Then we're going to put our valley tins down, and then we're going to run our tiger paw into the actual valley tin, and then we're going to take another roll of ice and water shield over the top of that, leaving at least six inches overlap. So if any type of water gets underneath the shingles, it can't get underneath the valley. If it does get underneath the valley somehow, which should be impossible, there's another row of ice and water down there. A couple things. This is an area that if you're going to have ice issues, sure. is probably going to be it. Two roofs coming together, snow accumulates, especially on the lower slope roofs. We talk about wanting a drainage plane. What an ice dam can do is hold a lot of moisture up on your roof. Gallons and gallons and gallons of water. Sure. So there's water always underneath those ice dams. Those ice dams are occurring somewhere because of heat loss. Sure. So that heat loss is happening somewhere, it's getting big enough where it starts to freeze again, but that heat loss is still causing something to melt down there. So it's really important. Probably the most important spot in the house to have it properly ice and watered. 
Now you mentioned that you prefer to install open valleys. I assume you mean that this valley material, this tin, is actually exposed? It is. We're actually going to leave it exposed two inches on either side at the top, three inches, so six inches total wide at the bottom, being that it actually funnels the water down and the highest volume of water is going to be at the lower part of the valley, so you want to have that a little bit wider. So is there anything special the installers have to do when they're installing shingles on top of this? Anytime you get to the valley, you have to clip the corner of the shingles or dog ear the actual shingles. And once we have all the shingles laid, again, we're going to take a chalk line and measure that so we get two inches at the top, three inches at the bottom, cut a nice straight line. Once that is all cut, we're going to run a bead of silicone along the back edge of the shingles, sealing the shingles to the valley, making sure should any standing water get on the valley, it can't get underneath. And again, at the end of the day, all these products we're talking about, you're trying to create the ultimate raincoat for your roof. Even when you're installing the shingles, in especially leak-prone areas like valleys, you're making sure that it's unlikely that any water can get in there. And if it does, you have all that underlayment underneath. Again, all of these steps that we talked about might add 5 to 10% in cost to the roof. When you think of 5 to 10% of the cost of the entire project for that added protection, these are spots that have the potential to leak. It seems like an easy decision to make to spend the extra money to get that extra protection. Yeah, there's no substitute when you're a homeowner for peace of mind knowing that your investment is going to last for as long as you own your home. You know, Andy, another challenging area and very leak prone area on roofs can be the different penetrations. How do you handle soil stacks, turtle vents, brone vents, you know, fan vents? We want to order all brand new vents and flashing kits for every type of penetration in the roof, whether it's a skylight, a plumbing stack, a brone vent, the turtle vents. We have easy plugs a lot of times we're going to fill those up in. It's amazing how many times that doesn't get used, but what even amazes me more is how many times stuff like this gets reused on a roof. I mean, this is a penetration. It's a nice color match to the shingles, but more importantly, you're getting a nice seal with a brand new piece of metal, brand new piece of rubber that's going to make sure should water ever start to hit that pipe or you get wind-driven rain, it's not going to leak. Sure, and you can have the best, again, products in the world, but they have to be installed properly. So we have a mock-up here. Take us through how your crews actually handle penetration. As you can see, as we're shingling up to where the penetration of the roof is, we want to have at least a 20 inch by 20 inch square of our ice and water that goes over the top of the tiger paw. Once we shingle all the way up to it, we're going to install our vent pipe over the top, get that sealed. Now once we have that all laying flat, we're going to take another piece of ice and water shield and actually make a U-shape right here. Should water again ever get underneath the shingles up above, like I told you, have that picture in your head that if you dump a glass of water out at the peak of the roof, as it comes down, you got to make sure that there's no spot it can get underneath. This right here potentially could be a spot. Now that you put ice and water shield over the top of it, sure. now water's going to come down. It has to get out. It has to have a drainage plane. And since we have this layout right here, let's talk about how the shingles are actually attached to the roof and how important that is. Well, the first thing we're going to do on a specialty shingle like the Woodland, outside of uh, your normal Timberline ultra shingle that we do about 75% of the time, a quarter of our jobs are going to be specialty shingles. We're going to take and we're actually going to lay out a pattern on the driveway or on the lawn somewhere with the entire crew to make sure everybody's on the same page. It's not something you do every day. It's outside of the norm. So we want to take that extra step to make sure that the shingles are put on in the proper pattern. You can't use the timberline pattern for a woodland shingle and that has to be established early. Wow, that's something that I just learned. I didn't realize that there's a different pattern for different shingles and that this shingle has a rhyme or reason why it's here next to this one. Yeah, the layout is not only important aesthetically, but it's going to be important in keeping things watertight. So once we establish that, then we can talk about the other things on the roof. And I think it's awesome that you have GAF out here actually assisting your guys and teaching them. Since you had mentioned earlier, this is a relatively new shingle on the market. The partnership that GAF offers us, I can't say enough good things about it. I mean, the support that they give me to come out and train my crews to be able to put on the specialty shingles the right way, it's invaluable. Now the other thing that I really like about GAF, believe it or not, every single roof that we install gets inspected virtually by somebody at GAF. We have a computer program that we're going to upload multiple images of the decking, the underlayment, how we nail the shingles on, where the pipes are on the roof that goes to GAF corporate, they go through it and they either give us a pass or a fail. 
that's ultimate peace of mind for not only you, but for the customer themselves. Now you said they inspect the nailing. How important is the nailing pattern here? How many nails do you use to install these shingles? You can use a four nail pattern or a six nail pattern, and it is important. The nice field guide that GAF gives us every year goes through every one of the shingles. You can look it up and actually see the exact pattern of nailing you're supposed to do. It's important to get the highest wind warranty possible, 130 mile an hour wind warranty. So six nail pattern, that is going to be a talked about, and there's a different type of nails that we use here than we do in the ridge. Really? So when we talk about ridge, and that's a great transition up to what I see there, the Cobra Ridge Runner, you're telling me you have to use different size nails for that versus the shingle itself? Yeah, actually, the Ridge Runner, again, another great idea by GAF, trying to make sure it always gets done the right way. Every box of Cobra Ridge Runner or Snow Country that we get comes with inch and three quarter nails. Inch and a quarter nails, go nail the shingles on. Inch and three quarter nails, you need that extra half an inch to get through the ridge cap and the ridge runner all at the same time. So you got 130 mile an hour wind warranty and a 50 year non prorated warranty on everything else. That's about as strong as it gets. Boy, well all these different components that make up a professionally installed 50 year roof, it's been great learning more about them, but not only about their role, seeing how they're professionally installed, how the manufacturer GAF comes out, trains your crews, leads to the ultimate peace of mind for you as the owner of the company, ultimate peace of mind for the homeowner knowing they're getting the best possible install on the best premium products out there. And at the end of the day, that's what I would want if I'm a homeowner re-roofing my house. I never want to have to worry about it again. And in this case, 50 years is a good long time. We take a lot of steps to make sure that this roof is going to last the true 50 years of the warranty. Well, Andy, it's been great learning more about these products. I appreciate you coming on today's show. My pleasure, Stu. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Thanks for watching another Linda's Construction Project on Today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Linda's Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979 remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindus Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand. All made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home? Or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it, help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed. And if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world. The one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindusconstruction.com.